பலிவொலி நேர்களுக்கு வணக்கம் அமீரக தமிழர்களுக்காக இன்று ஒரு சுவாரஸ்யமான தலைப்பில் மூன்று விருந்தினர்களை உங்களுக்காக சந்திக்கின்றோம் உங்க எல்லாருக்குமே வந்து இன்டெலிஜென்ட் போர்ஷன் எமோஷனல் போர்ஷன் இதெல்லாம் தெரியும் சக்சஸ் கோஷன் ஒண்ணு இருக்கு சக்சஸ் கோஷன் ஃபார் லைஃப் லெட்ஸ் டாக் அபவுட் இட் அதுதான் இன்றைய தலைப்பு இந்த தலைப்புல நம்மோட கலந்துரையாட அந்த மூணு பேர் வந்திருக்காங்க அது யாருனாக்கா அமெரிக்காவில நர்ச்சர் த ஆர்டிஸ்ட் அப்படிங்கிற ஒரு அமைப்போடைய ஃபவுண்டர் டேரக்டர் அண்ட் சிஇஓ ஆன திருமதி லலிதா ராமமூர்த்தி அவர்கள் இவர் ஒரு பரத கலைஞரும் கூட அது மட்டும் இல்லாம ஒரு ஹெல்த் கோச் ஒரு ஹெல்த் இன்ஃபுளுசர் ஒரு டயட்டீஷியன் என பல துறை நிபுணர் இவருக்கு அடுத்ததாக டாக்டர் ஆஷிஷ் பர்னானி இந்தியால இருந்து நம்ம ஜாயின் பண்ண போறாரு இவர் ஸ்கிலோவா அப்படிங்கிற ஒரு லேர்னிங் அகாடமியோடைய ஃபவுண்டர் டேரக்டர் ஒரு ட்ரெயினர் மாஸ்டர் ட்ரெயினர்னே சொல்லலாம் மாஸ்டர் ட்ரெயினர் லீடர்ஷிப் அண்ட் டெவலப்மெண்ட் கோச் இது எல்லாத்துலயும் எக்ஸ்பர்டா இருக்காரு இவங்க ரெண்டு பேர் இல்லாம அமீரகத்துல நம்ம எல்லாருக்கும் மிகவும் பரிச்சயமான திருமதி ஸ்ரீவித்யா சுகுமார் அவர்கள் நம்மளோட ஜாயின் பண்ண போறாங்க இன்னைக்கு இந்த நிகழ்ச்சியை பார்த்து கொண்டிருக்கும் உங்களில் பலருக்கும் வாழ்க்கையில ஒரு புதிய பார்வை என்ன தர போறாங்க இவங்க மூணு பேரும் ஹலோ ஸ்ரீவித்யா சுகுமார் அண்ட் லலிதா ராமமூர்த்தி ரெண்டு பேருக்கும் அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் நம்ம எல்லாருக்குமே அப்படின்னு சொல்லலாம் அதாவது கோவிட் அண்ட் இட்ஸ் இம்பாக்ட் இஸ் டெஃபினெட்லி ஹஸ் பீன் அ பிளெஸிங் இன் டிஸ்கைஸ் அண்ட் விச் ஹஸ் ஜஸ்ட் ஃபார்முலேட்டட் லைஃப் வித் லாட் ஆஃப் ட்ரைட்ரேஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் காம்பினேஷன் ரியாக்ஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் இட் ஹஸ் கிவன் எக்ஸ்போனென்ஷியல் சொல்யூஷன்ஸ் ஃபார் ஜென்ரேஷன்ஸ் டு கம் ஏன்னா இதில் நிறைய சேஞ்சஸ் நம்ம நம்மளால பார்க்க முடியாது எஸ் திஸ் ப்ராசஸ் ஹஸ் ட்ரீட்டிங் ஹஸ் என்ஷியூர்ட் அவர் ஜென்ரேஷன்ஸ் வித் அன் என்டோர்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் த ஹோலிஸ்டிக் வே ஆஃப் லைஃப் ஐ ரிப்பீட் த வேர்ட் ஹோலிஸ்டிக் when it comes to the holistic way of life the process of intelligence is involved in it adula varudha da adula vara inda uncut to truth nu solva adhu da inda iq eq sq aq iq na intelligence quotient mm-hmm. eq na emotional quotient sq na social quotient and aq na adversity quotient okay. this is actually the flow of thought what comes to the thought that handles our emotions when it handles our emotions we are able to relate it to the society from the society what are problems that we are facing how we are going to handle the situation mm-hmm. and that defines the whole de- term of holistic intelligence and when it views the intelligence that helps us learn to respect ourselves the whole reality with the nature and the culture that is involved that is what is emotional quotient uh, intelligence quotient mm-hmm. and moving further when it comes to the pro- handling the problems of life the transcendental intelligence that defines and shapes our reality according to the different situations and the needs of the future that handles the emotional quotient when we are doing this process the evolutionary impulses and the dynamics involved that brings and changes our brings transformation in us and to make us sustainable for the reality that what defines the holistic uh intelligence that's what it moves about but do we do we have the capacity in ourselves to guide and the future guide the future generation for this success quotient which is a sustainable for, formula for the future this is what we are going to think about okay. number even uh, as you know four of us are united here each one of us will handle one one topic so that it makes it easy and then we can move further 
like uh, say for example intelligence quotient intelligence quotient na as we know it is more or less related to the academics part of it. that is the total score derived from the set of standard test or the exam so called or the sub test assigned for the human intelligence adu da in the intelligence quotient this we normally derive from the academics part of it mm-hmm. this includes it at all the academics stuff this also includes qualities of analytical skills logical reasoning ability to relate to multiple skills that we need to acquire for the sustainability and retrieve and apply the situation in life adu da and the intelligence quotient namba padichathu knowledge is one understanding is one application is the next one synthesis and moving further how we are going to relate this concept and the context that is learned to the real life situation adu da and the intelligence quotient idu vandha normal standardized test verbal activity uh, verbal test reading comprehension data interpretation logical reasoning idella different kinds of assessment patterns are there which defines this intelligence quotient as a whole person. but in this process what the person acquires avarku enna kadakiradu or person a irukirche what all things that they able to develop with themselves is definitely eq that is how to handle the situation in varche emotional quotient definitely plays a very important point and also the social quotient moving further how to adapt to the community how to adapt to the society how am i going to relate myself the learn concept to the society contribute to the society abindrathu so uh, definitely uh, acquire panipa in the process so, so moving be a clash will there be a clash between the social quotient and the intelligent quotient at times definitely nariya vishayathula idu vandu nariya clash aagum adu vandu madam lalita avanga pesarche namakku nariya relate panni solla mudiyum ava contribute pandrache so or they will not become adhaavadhu namma enna or freedom of thought freedom of action nu varche we are going to liberate the person from being emotionally restricted intellectually restricted and socially restricted idu da namba think panna porom that is what is contributing to the success quotient formula idu ellame vandu varakudiya problems but they the handle pannide ava eppadi thanna push pannide mele kondu vara pora endradhu da idu the whole process is called as the success quotient hmm. yeah so moving further like emotional quotient rche like uh, if you want to uh, Uh, contribute you can contribute rama like uh, what do you think about emotional quotient that you can go with it and then we can speak further yes so what are, what do i think about emotional quotient is that like there should be a self assertiveness you know in everything what we do so that is what will give us the uh, social quotient like how do we interact with others how do we place ourselves with others kelliya adu venu namakku namakku or self esteem epoyume irukano அந்த செல்ஃப் ரெஸ்பெக்ட் வந்து மற்றவங்களுக்கான ஒரு ஃபீலிங்ஸ்க்கான ஒரு மரியாதையும் அதுல இருக்கணும் அப்போ அந்த மாதிரி இருக்கும் போதுதான் வந்து ஒரு செல்ஃப் கோஷன் வந்து அந்த இடத்துல வந்து ஒரு ஹையர் வேல்யூவை வந்து கிடைக்கும் அப்படிங்கறது எனக்கு தோன்றுது எப்போ நம்மள நம்ம பத்தி மட்டுமே நம்ம நினைச்சு மற்றவங்களை நம்ம அதுல யோசிக்காம இருந்தோம்னா அங்க வந்து ஒரு சோசியலைசிங் ஸ்கில் இருக்க போறது இல்லை நம்ம வந்து சோசியபிளா இருக்க போறது இல்லை ஒரு சொசைட்டில இருக்க போறது இல்லை மேன் இஸ் அ சோசியல் அனிமல் சொல்ற மாதிரி எப்பயுமே வந்து கூடி வாழணுங்கிற ஒரு எண்ணம் எப்ப வருதோ அப்பதான் நம்மளால வந்து சக்சஸ்ஃபுல்லா இருக்க முடியும்னு எனக்கு தோணுது அஹ் நான் 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 அப்படின்னு மட்டும் நினைச்சா அதுல போதாது எப்பயுமே வந்து நம்ம கூட இருக்கிற இன்னொருத்தரை நீ வந்து உயர்த்தினாதான் நீ சக்சஸ்ஃபுல்லா ஆக முடியும் அங்கதான் வந்து ஒரு சோசியல் கொஷன் வருது அப்படிங்கிறது எனக்கு தோணுது வெரி குட் ரொம்ப அழகா சொன்னேன் இதே வந்து ஆக்சுவலா அந்த இமோஷனல் கோஷன் டெபினேஷனே நம்ம பார்த்தோம்னா கூட இட் இஸ் அண்ட் இன்டெலிஜென்ஸ் டு மெயின்டைன் பீஸ் வித் இன்னர் இன்ஜினியரிங் ஆஃப் செல்ஃப் அண்ட் கம்யூனிட்டி லிவிங் த ரைட் ஆஃப் ரெஸ்பெக்ட் டு செல்ஃப் அண்ட் அதர்ஸ் தட் வில் என்கிரேவ் a helpful environment and build a platform of built on the platform of respect love care compassion and empathy oh fantastic empathy <laughs> so adu da anga solradhu romba alaga sonnel rama ninga romba alaga sonnel ninga actually so uh, yeah coming to the emotional uh, the third factor that we are talking uh, we are going to focus upon is the social quotient namba po lalita ma'am pathi sonna padi she has been already a health coach Okay. nutritionist dietitian yes. and um, uh, and she has taken a very uh, exclusive space in the society for herself as a dancer as an entrepreneur who has been reflecting so many lives so lalita ma'am ninge ipa contribute pannu nan nenikire thank you so much first of all for this absolutely phenomenal topic which is so close to my heart um being a social animal is first of all 
um, one of my main goals and uh, one of my passions also to say, um, I think the social networking that I involve in is the biggest strength for me today. Um, so who I am, what I made today and everything that you had listed, uh, first of all, very humbled by that beautiful introduction. Uh, but what I would like to convey is that as a social animal, so rightly said by you and by Rama, we all need that unification. And more so now after COVID, we have realized that being isolated only puts us in a very confined environment and we are not able to share care and um, you know, um, add to the empathy of it. So as a social animal, the first thing, um, just looking at it as an aspect of a performing artist, when you look at a performing art, for example, the very important thing is you want to be amicable, um, appealing, and very empathetic to people. So we can show empathy, we can show love, we can show gratitude, and show humbleness and modesty in how we do it. Um, you know, when you are presenting yourself in a public forum, whether it's a social gathering or whether it's a new job interview that you go to, some of the important things is body language. body language present they can definitely take in a lot of understanding. body language easy observe So one of the important things is or or you know, they will be uh, uh, tapping it on the on the table or they would probably be tapping their feet or they'll probably be holding their hand like this. Mm -hmm. This is actually conveying that you are not ready to uh, converse further. So the language, the body language is very important. You know, it's not, it's not that um, you're completely uh, deleting the, the engagement, but to a certain extent, your body language definitely conveys a lot. As a social animal, it conveys a lot. A lot of people quiver their lips um, you know, they will show signs. They could be very, if you were a dancer, you know, you know, face, yeah, face, expressions, you know, the coach, you know, 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 they could be very expressive with their body language. So, other than that, we have to contain it. We have to definitely do three important things. That's the first one, stop, take a deep breath when you are presenting yourself or when you are in a social gathering, smile as much as you can. You cannot avoid a smile reciprocation when you are smiling. Even though I was listening to a beautiful article today, neurotransmitters or the neuron firing in our brain actually becomes very used to the smile. Even if it is an artificial, artificial smile, even the moment you smile, there is a lot of beautiful hormones they call the happy hormones that generate and that makes the brain convey good signals so a beautiful smile is very very important uh, let's welcome uh, sorry to interrupt let's welcome mr Ashish with the smile welcome uh, mr ashish welcome dr ashish. ashish can you please unmute yourself sir thank you so much thank you so much Rama. welcome sir. thank you Shri so Bhatia. nice to have you and connect with you on this platform, Dr. Ashish. Thanks for coming. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we have Dr. Lalita here, Lalita Ramubati from US, and um, Mr. Mamala as well. Sorry, Ma'am Lalita, I think we can no, continue. No, 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 no. Let's let's absolutely take into consideration this is all about social uh, quotient. So we have to be very adaptable. Yes. Um, thank you so much, Dr. Ashish, for uh, joining the session. So as I was telling you, the body language is very important. The other important thing is, let's say we are going to be talking to somebody. Voice, it is a very important identity for us. So the, the tone of your voice, you know, hello, everybody. I've been sold to Hello, everybody. Or, or modest yoda sold to This is also very important. This is a small issue. Uh, you know, the previous generations, 
தே வால் ப்ராப்ளி சே நீ வந்து எதிர்த்து பேசக்கூடாது ஒரு அவளை வந்து தூக்கி எரிஞ்சு பேசக்கூடாது த ஜெனரேஷன்ஸ் ஆர் இவால்விங் ஓவர் டைம் so your body language can definitely convey the message and that you agree to disagree with certain things but other convey pandrathil or alag irk you know when you are doing uh, when you are in a social gathering the social intelligence nariya vishayam vandu namalku social knowledge irukalam but adha vandu apply pandrathu da social intelligent and the quotient to that is the social quotient so there was this beautiful book that i was reading about dale um, carnegie in soli avar vandu 15 million copies he has actually published it in the early 1934 and avaroda book vandu talks about how to win friends and influence people <laughs> so this book has actually sold about 15 million copies and he is actually given an example of this uh, person who was a new neu- neurologist and avar vandu when he was actually working in the uh, rail track there was a war there was a rod that passed through him and it hit his head and it went through one of his eye sockets he still survived the problem was after that there were certain major changes in his um you know uh, brain and the signals that are uh, conveyed to you or social skills nama vand adapt pandrathu or nama vand pesrathu nama palagrathu idellame vand nama frontal lobes la irund it comes out the signals oh. just just giving you a little bit of scientific background eppadi nama vandu nare perukku vandu they have lot of jitters nervousness irukum pesrathu eppadi convey pandrathu nu theriyadhu romba direct ah vandu um, impulsive ah pesiduva idala vandu nama if you are able to contain yourself nama vandu if you are able to increase those uh, synapses in the neurons in the frontal lobe it is very important to do that adukaga obeyo padra you know lot of techniques irukku meditation is definitely one of the biggest ones yoga is also a great uh, way of bringing more adad reversing the uh, age for the frontal lobe as you grow older with chronological aging functional aging can be reversed but chronological aging obviously you can't reverse that even so frontal lobes la if you want to increase that social skills and keep your social intelligence at par you have to do a lot of these things as in meditation as in yoga keep physically active so the health coach side of me would definitely encourage that when you are in a social gathering or when you are going for a big meeting or you are going to be presenting something or you are a very important guest for an event it is very important that you stay well hydrated um these are all simple simple things nanna saaptittu pono nanna saaptittu pono na wire nariya saaptittu yepa madakudadu those are those are etiquettes you want to follow na solradhu nutritionally you have to adequately you have to con, um, you know give your body all the fueling that it requires nutritionally has to be a well balanced meal அது பண்ணினாதான் உங்களுக்கு வந்து லாட் ஆஃப் த கெமிக்கல்ஸ் தட் இம்பாக்ட் இன் யோர் பாடி ஆக்சுவலி இஸ் ஆல்சோ பேஸ்ட் ஆன் வாட் யூ ஈட் யூ ஆர் வாட் யூ ஈட்ங்கிறது தான் இஸ் இஸ் திப்போக்ரேட்ஸ் யூ நோ ஏஜ் ஓல்டு சேங் ஸோ நீங்க என்ன சாப்பிட்றீங்களோ அது மாதிரி தான் நீங்க ரியாக்ட் பண்ணுவீங்க ஸோ தட்ஸ் வை தே ஹேவ் தி சாத்விக் ரஜசிக் டமசிக் ஃபுட்ஸ் யூ நோ விச் இஸ் பியூட்டிஃபுல்லி எக்ஸ்பிளைன் இன் ஆர் ஸ்கிரிப்சர்ஸ் அண்ட் வி டூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் தட் வென் யூ ஈட் சர்டன் ஃபுட்ஸ் யூ வுட் கன்வே சம் இமோஷன்ஸ் தட் வே also when you are in a social gathering balancing those Im- emotions these are all practices that you do you know engage with over a period of time and so well conveyed that emotional intelligence and social intelligence idellame vandu it will like intertwine to a great extent you know to to bring that success quotient and what is success to each person is definitely different right i could be working as a homemaker all my life and fe- feel absolutely at content and feel very happy about being successful my entire life for having created that beautiful community around me so each person's success um, quotient is also going to be different but putting that together with different elements such as the social element is very important and the other important uh, thing that i wanted to talk about was dress sense um you know the uh, ஆள் பாதி ஆடை பாதி அப்படின்னு சொல்லுவா சோ நம்ம எப்படி வந்து நம்மளை ப்ரெசென்ட் பண்ணிக்கிறோமோ நம்ம எவ்வளவு அழகா நம்மளை ரெஸ்பெக்ட் பண்ண அந்த செல்ஃப் ரெஸ்பெக்ட் கொடுத்து செல்ஃப் எஸ்டீம் கொடுத்து இட் இஸ் நாட் தட் யூ ஹாவ் டு வேர் திகெஸ்ட் பிராண்ட் ஆர் த மோஸ்ட் எக்ஸ்பென்சிவ் எக்ஸ்க்ளூசிவ் ஜுவல்ரி அண்ட் 
um, you know, outfits when you are, for example, as a performing artist, I love to dress up. I love to be, um, you know, dressed in different variant colors and everything. But it doesn't mean that you have to stick to a name brand or anything. As, as long as you bring yourself, your identity in that, and it speaks for itself, that's all that matters. So the social you. intelligence is an acquired intelligence. The more you interact with people, the more you communicate with people, the more you network with people, you can increase this over a period of time. Do not isolate yourself. Stay connected with the social people around you or socially around you. You are a social animal and that's the best way you can stay connected to the world. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much for such valuable information. The intelligence actually to build a network uh, yes. and uh, cherish relationship that will nurture culture and citizenship to live in harmony with the nature. That's the social quotient. Uh, it's very nice. I think number viewers soon, they will make an effort to put themselves in other person's shoes and uh, they will read all invisible interconnections in a social apparatus, definitely. Uh, non-verbal behaviors, Pati mentioned, Pandin. So they will definitely learn to interpret people's non-verbal behaviors as well, taking into uh, accord, keep a track of how you feel, how do I feel, how do we feel, Abdindra or concept order. And uh, they will definitely approach this with the uh, concept with the interpersonal, intrapersonal receptiveness as well. And it will definitely give a very clear thought to our viewers on the basis of a social case, uh, quotient. Moving further, like um, we do have, uh, thank you, uh, Lalita, ma'am. Thank you so much for your contributions. And uh, you can stay with us till the end of the uh, session. And we have Dr. Ashish. Yes, you thank you so much. You can introduce yourself, Dr. Ashish. I'm from India. Uh, my name is Ashish Parnani. And uh, I'm the founder and uh, principal consultant of uh, the organization called Skill You Are Learning Academy. Uh, a couple of years back during uh, COVID first phase in India, we started this organization. And uh, now we started as an e-learning organization, but now we are uh, a full-fledged international training and coaching organization. And uh, as far as e-learning is concerned, we have more than 11,000 registered learners on our website. And um, our mobile application is uh, very soon to launch. And uh, talking about the uh, training and coaching part, uh, by God's grace, we have been successful in training and coaching people and certifying them in 13 countries in just a period of two years. So God has been really gracious. And um, on personal note, I'm, I'm an internationally certified master trainer and facilitator. I'm an international diploma holder in business coaching and mentoring. And I have a PhD in training and development uh, from Indian University. So this is this is a brief about me. My expertise lies into sales and leadership. And uh, I, I occasionally I train people uh, on a business context. I train people, uh, train trainers, coaches, and uh, working professionals, and and certify them. So this is this is a brief. Maybe thank you. Thank you. So what much. do you mean by skilluva? Sorry to interrupt, uh, Vidya. Uh, yeah, sure, sure, Rama. Yes. So skill, skill, you are skill means the the skill part, the English word of skill. Okay. Uh, very easy, right? Uh, to understand the you are means the youth. Okay. Oh, so okay. what well, what skill, uh, you skill you are the premise of skill you are is that there is no age of learning. Okay. And uh, therefore, uh, when you read skill you are, when you Google or go to our website, mm -hmm. when you read skill you are logo downstairs, you will read something called learning is eternal. So that is what uh, skill you are the premise is that learning is eternal. There is no age of learning. Anyone and any anyone at any point of time can learn and something new can implement in, in his or her life and grow and help others to grow. That's, that's a very that's sensible uh, naming. <laughs> uh, we have seven minutes more, uh, Shividya. Accordingly, yeah. we'll finish the meeting. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So uh, Dr. Ashish, like we have been talking about success quotient. We have been discussing about uh, intelligence quotient, emotion quotient, and uh, you joined us during the session with uh, uh, Ma'am Lalita Ramuthi, like talking about uh, social quotient. Moving further, definitely for anything to get success, there are hardships. So we would like to hear from you on the basis on the concept of adversity quotient, how to handle hardships and challenges, embrace those challenges and uh, become level-headed in addressing those hardships and 
uh, to treat every learning experience as success. Absolutely, absolutely. Lovely to listen to Lalita for last uh, four or five minutes I was here. So what, what she was sharing is I can get that lots of knowledge is filled. Uh, she's filled with lots of knowledge about different concepts, different things. So that was wonderful to hear about uh, from her. So now the thing is, the concept context is that uh, when we are dealing with all these types of quotients and, uh, you know, when Lalita was sharing about the social quotient, so she, uh, lastly, she pointed out one thing that it could be learned, it could be increased okay? because when, it, when we talk about quotient, that is, it could be measured. And it could be measured on the basis of what you do in the society. Okay? And uh, from there only the people can judge you. Uh, people don't evaluate more of the things. They judge right? that they have a the kind of a tendency. So uh, they, they judge each other. They judge you on the basis of you know, your behavior or what you do. And uh, therefore comes your social quotient. However, when you are living in this world, you are a social animal as pointed by Lalita. So I'll take from there you will go through the hardships. You will go through the challenges. You will go through the misfortunes in your life. And when you combine all these things, it gives you a word called adversity. And that is what adversity is. Adversity is an amalgamation or a combination or individualistic also talking about different hardships, uh, misfortunes or challenges a person uh, gets in his life or her life. That's what adversity is. However, the thing is, the best part about adversity is it could be managed. You can learn about it. You can, uh, uh, you can decrease it to a certain extent. And actually, there are few people who have mastered this art of uh, managing this adversity as well. Absolutely. And that, that is the best part about what adversity quotient is all about. So what adversity quotient is, now we have understood what adversity is. Adversity quotient is an art of measuring your effectiveness or strength when it comes to the core hardships you go through in your life. How would you measure it? How would you strengthen those things? That is all about adversity portion. Now, there are lots of things. Uh, let me tell you the background of it, a slight background. We, we have five, six minutes uh, for the session to get over. Adversity portion, the word, first of all, it was gave by, given by Dr. Paul Stolz. Uh, in 1997 around in his book called Adversity Quotient. And uh, he wrote about that there are lots of things, a lot of things depending on the success, depend on people getting promotions, people getting towards the height of their uh, entrepreneurial career or corporate ladder and a lot of things were said. However, there was just one question asked to lots of thousands of managers, entrepreneurs, CEOs and business owners. And that one question was, what does it depend or where does the line or the concept depends when it comes to success and failure? Success and failure. Where would be the one line? You know, what is that one thing which, uh, you know, you put one finger onto that one thing uh, between success and failure. And that was adversity. That means uh, a person's ability to manage or to handle those hardships, those challenging situations, those crisis situations in his or her life. This is this may be staggering for us. This may be astounding for us to understand. But this was a thing when he did a research for his book. Think about it. We talk about adaptability. We talk about innovation. We talk about collaboration. We talk about leadership. These are different topics, different uh, social skills, people skills or behavioral skills, which, which are not just uh, nowadays we are talking about. They are the top four, top five, emotional intelligence also, top four, top five, when it comes to last five to seven years. Why? Why are we are talking about this? Because in these, these skills, people are able to make a decision considering their adversity factor, considering their challenging, what, what kind of a challenge they have and how they are making their decision and coming to a result. And that's what he uh, pointed out. Now, if I have to give you people, all our viewers who are listening and watching us, uh, very important thing, what I consider a best way to deal with adversity is that to understand the four C's. I, I try, I, I share this uh, in my uh, leadership sessions for managers and executives. And I guess uh, we all can learn something. new. The first thing is, 
if a person is not aware of his adversity the first thing is to get the awareness because what the what normal tendency that we have we want to live in a comfort zone almost everyone wants to live in a comfort zone because comfort zone is a very comfortable zone no one wants to get hurt no one wants to get disturbed my my father uh, my, my my there was my uncle who bought a wonderful uh, uh, a kind of a recliner and if anyone sat in that recliner he don't like it he said no you get up i'll sit this is my recliner that was his comfort zone he feel complete he was so comfortable in that and therefore my dear friends what happens is when we are so much uh, inclined towards our comfort zone we were so much comfortable in our comfort zone we are not able to understand the adversity properly and sometimes adversity is very very strange to us and therefore we are not able to manage the adversity quotient our adversity quotient is actually at the bottom corner at the bottom when it comes to the comfort zone so the first zone is c comfort comfort zone the second thing is what we need to do is we need to get ourselves out of the comfort zone and put ourselves into a challenge zone the second c is challenge and that's where our adversity quotient comes to a little bit to a higher side challenge we need to understand okay this is a challenge this is a misfortune happened to us okay now the covid came what is my strategy towards covid what is my strategy towards my business because the covid has come same situation happened with me i used to give lots of offline training when covid came in 2020 i had to switch to online because now everyone was talking about online hotels were shut down i was not able to do the offline training in corporates on my my flagship workshops in hotels which i was uh, supposed to do or which i used to do now what happened if i remain in my comfort zone if i think that covid will go no problem you know one month or two months covid will go let's see what happens i have money left i have backup my wife is working or you know my father will support me then things would have turned something else but what i did i accepted the challenge i move out of my comfort zone and enter into a challenge zone that's what we need to do to help our adversity portion if anyone wants to get uh, you know measure the adversity portion or increase that level to understand the level of adversity we should enter into a challenge zone the third thing when a person enters into a challenge zone and performs in a challenge zone he comes into a third c that is called change zone so we got through comfort zone then we came to a challenge zone when we enter into a challenge zone the change happens when we perform into a challenge zone the change happens and most often it's a positive change that we see we we often say that change is the only con constant right so the context is that we <laughs> there's a very funny thing we want to see the change in others <laughs> but we don't want to see the change in ourselves we want to live in a comfort zone so again you know reflecting back to the first thing see adversity quotient is such a funny uh, concept and at the same point of time it's a very interesting and uh, sincere topic as well because it's adversity right adversity when you go through the definition it has nothing positive into it all the negative words adversity uh, when you go to a definition it it will say adversity is a combination of hardships difficulty misfortunes all these negative words but in a way it's a very interesting concept also because if you practically apply it you'll get the results so the context is that sometimes we want to see the change in others but we don't want to do it ourselves but the fact is the reality is that we need to enter into a challenge zone accept that challenge perform into it so that we can see the change and the best part is let me give you an example covid came and uh, now everything was uh, shut down outside and in the morning in india in my city what was the situation was like that uh, in the morning for 2 hours and in the evening for 2 hours the shops will open and you can go and buy the groceries and all these things so <laughs> my father being a very uh, kind of a person that the new new disease has come new pandemic has come so he said i will not go to buy the milk or groceries anyone can go i will not go. 
so he was uh, he was uh, you know very straight away he has said i will not go outside outside corona is there <laughs> okay so it was very new okay and uh, he is a kind of a person who watches every news channel and you read news paper so he he actually went into that challenge zone and uh, didn't act on it but actually uh, you know sat down on it and uh, his attitude towards was is that i don't want to act on it okay i don't want to act but the the thing is even if you don't act on a challenge there is a kind of a change but that change is not positive there was a change but it it affect the change affects all of us so i went and buy the groceries because okay our family has someone to buy the groceries and someone can go either in the morning or in the afternoon so the context is what i'm trying to set is that we need to adapt to the challenge so that change can come because if we are not accepting and performing into it that change can that challenge or the result of that challenge can affect us personally and can affect our family also and overall as a society and that is what uh, the change is all about it's very very important to understand the overall objective is to bring a positive change if you bring a positive change and if that change is repeated that is you're performing regularly on in your challenge zone every day is a challenge and you're performing you're performing you're performing to the best of your abilities by understanding your hardships by managing your difficulties by analyzing your misfortunes you're performing you're performing you're performing every single day and out what do you do you produce regular change and when you produce regular change that is positive change you enter into a fourth c that is c zone is champion a c called champion you know what champion is all about a champion is a person who has understood adversity not like anyone else because his his quotient of adversity is totally different and that what we need to learn we need to learn the adversity quotient from an angle of a champion because he has gone through everything he has gone through from every hurdle every angle and that's what the top level of adversity quotient is to perform like a champion if you if you know about Christ, uh, cristiano ronaldo so cristiano ronaldo is a football player and is a uh, kind of a messi is the uh you know open and very close to him both of them are considered as number 1 or number 2 okay like uh fans fight with each other on social media but i want to give you an example of cristiano ronaldo very challenging life does not want to settle in a comfort zone enter into a challenge zone perform every day brought a change for himself for his family and for other people and then he is performing every day doing it every day every day every day and he is a champion you know what kind of a adversity he faced he faced his personal adversity you know someone told him that if you want to play for a longer time you need to work on your legs because you are a football player you are a soccer player you need to work on your legs feet and he sat for 30 to 40 minutes or even 50 minutes on a chilled water with ice ice bath he takes a ice bath think about it 30 40 minutes in a ice there is a tub filled with ice and he just put his leg so that his legs can get uh, relaxed and the muscles can get relaxation so that he can be ready for next day can a normal person can do something like this this is what understanding the hardship just a very simple example understanding the hardships and uh, misfortunes and what what not so at the end let me revise the aq aq is measuring and strengthening the core response of anything or everything that is your core response like okay? like and i hope you will a, remember all these forces how for a diamond we uh, we um, estimate it or value it by the carrot cut color all the three c's you have also listed three c's can you say all the three c's once again absolutely so we we end up with the fourth one as well called champion so we start with comfort zone then we uh, second come with a challenge zone third is a change zone and the fourth is a champion zone okay Thank you so much, Yashvidya. Yes, Thank you, Dr. Ashish. That was really, really brilliant. So, moving further, like I think, uh, uh, to sum it up exactly, it was a wonderful session. We have spoken about the intelligence quotient. We have spoken about emotional quotient. We have spoken about social quotient. We have spoken about adversity quotient. End of the day, what does it uh, contribute to the holistic intelligence that we are talking about? The solution is a combination of love, care. 
empathy, congeniality, structured by the bonds of grit, determination, resilience to conclude, this too shall pass and we shall remain. That's the anchored truth that we come out of it. Isn't it, Rama? Fantastic. Well said. I think Ms. Lalita also, she will agree to that <laughs> because uh, being a health coach and being an influencer, health influencer, she knows what is being healthy, you know, to become a healthy human being. It all, it's, all, it's all there in your mind, you know, to train your mind, you need certain qualities. That is what Absolutely. she understood. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Absolutely. Very, very beautiful session, um, you know, a very important topic and a very need based topic for us to um, dwell into. And I'm very thankful to the entire team for having given the opportunity. Thank you so much. Welcome, ma'am. Good night. Good night, everyone. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ashish. Thanks, Rama. Thank, Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Thank, Thank, Thank you so much. Have a good one. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. இந்த நிகழ்ச்சியை கண்டு ரசித்த உங்கள் அனைவருக்கும் எங்களுக்கு நெஞ்சார்ந்த நன்றி பிரஸ் தி பெல் ஐக்கன் ஆன் தி யூடியூப் ஆப் அண்ட் நெவர் மிஸ் அனதர் அப்டேட்